Hey guys, Mr. Dobrens here. This video is going to cover how to use the pendant of our Shark 510 CNC routers. Okay, this is the screen that pops up when you power up the machine. If you click continue, you can get through this, then it gives you a warning screen to be very careful, which we always are. Click through there, and this is the main home screen that we have. As you can see at the top, we have zeros. Um, if we look vertically at the columns, this first column is our X column. The left would actually move the, the machine left, the right, vice versa. These are our jog buttons, is, is how we uh, refer to them in the industry. If I click left, it will jog the machine left. You can see it moving in the background there. If I click right, it goes right. Um, and then you can also see the numbers correspond to the machine moving. Compared to zero, which is where I started up the machine or where the uh, spindle was when I started up the machine, I have moved it 3.091 inches to the left. Hence, that's why it's a negative number. If I look at the Y column here, right now I'm at zero, zero, because that's where it was when the machine was started. And if I tell it to go away from me, you can see that number move positive. And if I go near, you'll see it go negative. Same thing with the Z axis here, which I will just verify with you guys. If I go up, I'm adding a Z, I'm going up in Z. And if I go down, it's going the negative number. Now the first thing that we're gonna need to do before we machine is zero. And that zero is gonna be a couple videos just by themselves after this. But I wanna talk just a little bit more about this machine. So if I hit the move to zero, zero, this machine is gonna to move to its zero, zero. That is exactly where it was when we started the machine up. Now, um, in another video, it's gonna cover how do you set zero, zero somewhere else, which we're gonna to need to do for pretty much every part that we do but um, not quite yet. You guys don't really need to mess with the setup button, the apps button. Um, you will need to use the plate. The plate button is how we access the touch plate where we set our Z height or our Z offset. This is also a really important button here. So the uh, blue button that cycles between fast, medium, and slow is how fast the jogging speed of the machine goes. If I click fast, you can see it actually moves pretty quick. Now this is all fine and dandy, but if I run at fast speed into the side of the machine or the maximum travel of X, Y, or Z, I risk damaging this machine. These motors cannot handle uh, this weight crashing into them more than a couple times before they break. And if this machine breaks, it's gonna be a long time before we get it fixed. So please, 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 when you get close to the maximum travel of the machine, like I'm doing here with my X to the left. As you get close to the edge of the board, please slow down to medium and then slow so that you can set your parameters or whatever you're trying to achieve that you can do it in a way that's not going to damage the machine. That is an absolute requirement and I am asking you so nicely to do that. The refresh button will refresh the screen in case you've made any changes, uh, but that is your introduction to the pendant. This is our pendant. This is our best friend. This is how we use the machines. Now, one thing I do want to point out is this is the port. Looks just like a headphone jack that we're going to plug the touch plate into. And on the other side, see if you can see it here, is the jack for our programs on the thumb drive. And that's how we use it. Actually, once I plug in the thumb drive, I will click the USB button and I can navigate to the programs that I've created. I can read the program and I can run the program. So that is your introduction to the pendant. Uh, go ahead and watch the follow-on videos for how to zero and perform other functions.